For the second choke we're gonna look at, the bow and arrow. So the bow and arrow choke is probably the most common, or at least one of the very most common finishes in high level competitive jiu jitsu. And that's because it's a very strong finish and it's not, it's not very difficult to set up, right? Essentially if I'm on someone's back, once I make this first hand collar grip, I have a pretty good shot at finishing a bow and arrow choke. Okay? So I make the same first grip as all the other chokes we've looked at, except instead of reaching across, reaching for the arm, this time I'm going to reach down and try and connect with my partner's leg. You can grab the pants, but I think the strongest grip here is actually to come inside and underhook the thigh. Okay? Now I'm going to take my, uh, if my left hand underhooks the thigh, my right foot goes to my partner's hip, I push, and I take my left leg and step it across, and I'll use my instep to hold my partner's thigh. I'll fall to my shoulder. Okay, now I'm gonna take my right leg and I'll throw it up over my partner's shoulder. Okay, and if I beat his arm, if I get there first, I'll peel his arm out and hold it like this so that he can't reach back in. But if he instead beats me and makes a grip on my wrist, I just close over his arm and then cross my feet. Okay, and now to finish, I bite my heels down really hard and extend my partner away. Okay, in this variation, all I'm doing is my, my Closing my feet on my partner's wrist essentially just kind of robs him, robs that hand of all of its strength. And so he's kind of cosmetically still holding my arm, but he can't, he can't any, he won't be able to use that to resist the choke anymore. Whereas if I'm just here, you know, he could, right? Okay, so it's called the bow and arrow because I'm gonna bend my partner like a bow and my left leg is gonna almost like shoot past my partner like an arrow, okay? So I'm here. I get my feet crossed, and I, the motion is I'm pulling both of my hands in, and I'm opening my hips, okay? It's important that I keep my feet flexed here, okay, and, and I'm extending my partner away. One important detail is that my arm that's behind my choking arm, I have to keep my elbow closed. Okay, this is one of the, this is a really difficult submission to escape once it's locked in. One of the only ways, or one of the ways that you can lose it is if, if I'm trying to choke but my arm is up, yeah, especially my partner like, grabs my, my sleeve or my elbow and ducks his head out, we can lose this eventually. Okay? So, uh, it's, it's, but once, if you, if you make your grip and then just close your elbow, uh, can you duck your head out now? No. It's almost impossible. Okay? Then the escape is over here, but it's really difficult to come all the way over here because I'm controlling his leg and his collar. Okay, so uh, the way we should prefer to escape the choke, just as a, a note, the way we should prefer to escape the choke is over here. Okay, that's the direction that takes you to safety, um, but it's awfully hard to make a, uh, to, to go that way because of the grips of, of the partner who's attacking. Let's see it one more time. Okay, so flip the collar open, four fingers over, reach down, control the leg, step on the hip, rotate off to the side, make sure my elbow is closed, reach up, get my, get my foot over my partner's forearm, cross my feet. Uh, when you're extending, when you're finishing the choke, don't do this. Don't stretch my legs, because Conan's arm now, I, I've kind of disconnected from. And so if he's got a strong grip on my, on my wrist, then when I do this, I'm kind of not affecting his arm, so I have to, I have to squeeze my heels into my butt at the same time that I extend my hips. Okay, so sometimes people get in the idea that because they're extending their hips, they extend their whole legs, but that's not, not uh, what we want to do here. I want to keep tight with my heels and extend my hips here. So I rock my partner away from me, okay, but I'm not letting up my, my inward pressure with my feet, okay, so that I don't lose, uh, so I, I still keep a good bite on my partner's wrist.